Michael Rosen birthday special. Once I got done after my horrible alarm clock woke me up in the morning. Yes. Trouble was, the bitch wouldn't shut the fuck up. And it went like this. Not dead long ago, you fool. Right. Off we go. Oh, it's 9.30. Time to wake up. I don't know what the fuck is happening. I don't think it's funny. All right, all right, that's it. Here it goes. And everything was lovely once again. Wonderful. And then someone in the street just fell over and died. That's a shame. So then I went to the car. And it said, the 7th of May. Oh no! It was my 67th birthday. This meant that all kinds of horrible critters were coming to my home for the birthday party. I never organized. Yeah, trouble was, sometimes the presents were rather nice. So I decided to bear with them. So now I go and open the door, and there they were. The front door opened. Hello! My name is Eileen Ogle. I don't care, I said. Now, who are these other kids? Oh yeah, yeah. that's Foogie. And there's Fuck the Clown. And there's my brother, Chamato. You see that bloke over there? Him, he's Mick the Dick. Oh yeah, yeah, that's Mick the Dick. All right, he's brilliant. He can traumatize people. He's a racist. He'd hear us saying all this and he'd go, <laughs> really good. We went to this cafe and I had nothing to eat. I had hot air. And the woman put it down in front of me. Nothing. With a little paper toenail stuck in the chop. That wasn't very nice. And then suddenly I remembered this funny little rhyme that my friend Snatch used to say. I put up my hand. Yes, said the waiter. Can I have a plum? Yes. Can I have a fat banana? Oh yeah, yeah. And off we go. And the woman put it down in front of me. The fat plum banana. Horrible. It was then... I noticed the woman opposite. She looked awful. So I said, mm. fuck off, you ugly horror. Ah, <laughs> oh, in the mouth, it was awful. And then we went home. That's when the presents come in, you know, stuff. And we're sitting at the table. It was then Fugi gave me a box. It was huge. It was taller than the Empire State Building. Blimey, what's in it? Oh no. And it was tins full of screw use in it. I'm very sorry, Foogie, but nobody, nobody at all wants tins full of screw use. Foogie. Now, next. So this boy, Mick, the dick, gave me a bright green hamburger. One sloppy, horrible piece of shit hamburger with the melting sky fugle toenails. <laughs> oh, I can't stand it. Anyway, Mick says, eat it. And I say, I don't want to. He says, eat up, Michael. And I say, no, I hate you. So he said, OK, playtime. Oh, yeah, you bet he said that, playtime. And he said, please, eat up, Michael. It was then there was a mad dog who turned up round my home. Oh, no, the moment I'd love. So now, Chamato gave me a chainsaw. Fantastic. I took the chance. I'll tell you what I do. When I open the door, I... <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> Die. And there was the mad dog, mouth open, eyes staring, toenail stiff, dead on my door, Matt. Hmm. <laughs> Hard luck, Mr. Mad Dog. Always knew you were a pain in the ass. Anyway, it was then Eileen gave me a bag of teachers. If I get one more shit present, I shall give you all to the killer ducks deep down inside my dungeon. Do you understand? So they go, okay, Michael, okay. Don't worry about it. It was then, fuck the clown, gave me something new. And it was an apple. <gasps> That's when my brain starts doing things. You know, mad dog stuff. I'll tell you what I do. 
I dump them into my dungeon. Then I said, hip hop, a hip hop hat. I'm giving you all the Michael Rosen murder or the Michael Rosen hunt. Jamato said, let us out. I'm going to wet myself. So I said, uh, you can go shove it. <laughs> Hard like my face. Not long after, Uncle Tomato came in. He had a box and said, Happy birthday, Grandad. <laughs> then I said, Hello, asshole. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a box. What's in it? But, oh, yeah, yeah. Cherry bombs. AK 47 and plum ice cream. So I said, Mmm, why don't we go hunt the prison in my dungeon for my birthday treat? It'll be great. Yeah, he said, It'll be great. And off we go. When we got there, my uncle found out that there was this hole that the prison yes. stuck to escape. Blimey. Suddenly, on the ground, under us, collapsed. So then I woke up. It was then I noticed the prison yes. they were watching us. So Uncle Tomato said, keel over and die. And he took this gold AK-47 out of his pocket. So then the prisoners began to charge at me and my uncle. So I said, mm. say hello to my little friend. As I pulled out my AK-47, I began to shoot. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Keel over and die. No! Look at that. <laughs> Come on, you prick. Nice. And then we went home and ate tulips. Kaboom, 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 kaboom. Kept on the plum 